Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, I think it's been a good week since I've posted something. Um, if you haven't yet, check out my last video for the giveaway. It's Valentine's Day Die Giveaway. Um, but let's jump into today's video. We are celebrating Valentine's Day. This is part of a YouTube hop. It's hosted by the Paper Crafting YouTubers. It's a Facebook group, and we took a break in January. We're back um, for the first video of 2023. It will be a monthly hop, and the theme for Valentine's Day, or for February, is Galentine's Day. I think most people don't realize Galentine's Day is actually celebrated February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. The idea is um, celebrating our friendships with women, um, be that sisters or friends. Um, for me, I, I'm planning on sending a Valentine's Day package to my sister, um, and that'll go out in the mail probably this week. Um, it's also fun to just package up a little treat and give it to some of my, my female friends. Um, I decided to showcase some of the different ways that I am packaging gifts this year and what that will include. So it's, it's really just a project share for me this, this, um, this month for this video. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So everybody else that participates is going to be linked up below. I know I've got a lot of new subscribers and a shout out to you. Thank you. Um, you don't know how much I, I appreciate it. There just aren't words. But if you are new to paper crafting, as I know some of you are, this is a fun way as you go through um, everybody else that's participating to find some other paper crafting YouTubers. It's going to be a mix. You're going to see some scrapbook pages. You'll see some card makers. You'll see other um, just, you know, project shares. But take, you know, make a cup of coffee, sit down, scroll through, link through, and, um, and check them out. You might find some new favorites. Okay, let's jump into it. So... I basically have four projects here in a little tag, and I'm just going to slide these to the side so that we can focus on one at a time. So this says, the little tag says, here's a hug in a mug, and I just layered up um, a little word banner here. I printed this off my computer and then die cut it with a banner die, um, put it on you know, a piece of ruffle. And in here is a French, I don't know if you see it, French vanilla cappuccino. I love this little box. I hauled it, um, I think two, two hauls ago it was featured. If anybody wants links, let me know and I'm happy to, to reply to you and post it. I just love this little box. I like to gift pods um, seasonally, you know, as they change or I find a new favorite. It's just a fun way to share with a friend a little treat like this. So this is the first one. Next up, we've got, this almost looks like a milk carton style um, in that the top's pinched together like this. I just used some pink and white twine to tie it together. And again, I printed off this girl gang word and then just die cut it with a ticket die. Um, but inside here, I've just got some Hershey Kisses. You, know, you guys know I'm a fan of Hershey's, and it's the town I grew up in. And then I just have a little flower, but note the hearts on it. Oh, isn't that clever? Isn't that cute? And then, yeah, just layered up some, some scraps of paper from, you know, other projects that I did. This one I'm probably most excited about. This is a mailbox die and it's it's an aliexpress um it didn't include this little cutout i took a little die um from another set and actually cut it out and i used velcro dots oops which are starting to separate yep it unstuck i'm gonna have to add some more glue to that to make that stick 
but I closed that with Velcro dots because I needed it to stay closed and if I just did a ribbon it wasn't enough. But you can see, you can really hold a lot in there. That's a nice deep compartment. Um, and then I just layered up, again, scraps from projects and stitched that on. I created a bunch of flowers using some of the scraps from my card making. And I love this bow die. This was in my last haul. I've been using that frequently. Um, and then just a little spread love. So I'm going to fill that with some, some candy. Um, my sister loves Swedish fish, so maybe I'll... I'll stick some of those down in there and then I just, you know, we'll tie a little a little tag on there. So that's the next one. And then these little matchbox boxes. I just love these so much. Um, especially for gifting small treats like this. They're easy to drop in my purse and you take along to work, leave on a colleague's desk. Again, I printed this off and then just die cut it this same bow again and I used some black and white pep papers here and then put in some pink Hershey Kisses but then on the bottom I just used that that little um, again I printed off the computer cut it out with the tag and just put it on the bottom just a little message you know so so they know what I'm gifting for what reason I'm gifting maybe if you need a reason to give chocolate. I mean, let's let's be real. And then I created a little tag here, kind of along the, the theme of, you know, sweet treats, hello, sweethearts, die cut and layered up this little ice cream. And then there were some clay bits that were in one of the sequin mixes that I had purchased from an Etsy seller. So I just pulled a couple of those out and tucked them on. And you know, I took a die that's actually a summer die, turned it into a Valentine's Day die that way. So yeah, just a fun little tag. So these are my projects. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And again, please take a minute and click through the links and visit the other participants in this Galentine's Day themed hop.